Oh, what was going through your head when Gantama's foot was basically backwards, but he didn't tap? I'm kind of nauseous right now. You know, I'm really sick to my stomach. I never felt someone's leg explode like that in a match. You know, been training 22 years. I never broke someone's leg that much. I've broken a lot of legs, but um, the amount that that leg exploded, um, I didn't know what to do. And like, it was just disgusting and gross. Um, I really wish he tapped. Um, the result didn't change and now he's in the hospital. So I don't know. But what a warrior he is for showing his will. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're going to go across to Aaron East now from MMA UK News. Uh, Mikey, congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. Very welcome. Um, what do you feel like this, what tonight was one of your toughest tests to date? Um, definitely the most nauseous I've been after a match uh, from the match, but... Um, uh, it was interesting. I sometimes I have this problem when I fight where I get too stubborn on a submission or I focus on something and then to channel, yeah. to change, to do something else. So the problem was I kept popping his leg. So I felt like, how do I stop doing this move if it keeps popping? So yeah. eventually I was like, screw it. I looked at my corner. There are like two minutes left and I'm like, screw it. I let go. And then I took his back. I should have probably done that earlier, but how do I let go again if I keep doing damage to a certain limb? Um, I definitely have never been that exact scenario, so it was new for me, for sure. It was a little unpleasant to watch also. Yeah, and, I, um, I don't even want to watch the match. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, there was one last question. You've achieved so much under the one banner. Is there anyone specifically on the roster or a dream match for yourself that you'd like to face on the match? Yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely Mighty Mouse in the future and hopefully on a U.S. card. Um, I also would like to fight Adrian Moraes on a Brazil card for one. I know one's going to have their Brazil event. Uh, I know he's down the road with me, so it would be awesome if we could go in the circle for one's first event in Brazil. I'm sure he would love that too. And I speak Portuguese and I have a lot of Brazilian followers, so it would be great for the Brazilian fans. I'll definitely look out for them. Thank you ever so much for taking my questions and congratulations once again. Thank you so much, sir. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Onward now to Jeffrey Hu from Kung Fu Kingdom. Hello, Mikey. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm great. How about you? I'm good. I'm just um, just upset I didn't get this mission win, but um, it is what it is. Most definitely. So first of all, congrats on your win. Uh, Thank so, you. So as for the Adriano Moraes matchup, that is in submission grappling, correct? Yes, sir. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu also, and he actually requested to have a match with me. So multiple times. So um, I, I think we should just do it in Brazil. One is going to have their first card in Brazil this year, and I'm fluent in Portuguese, and I have a lot of Brazilian followers also. So it would be great for the Brazilian crowd. Great, um, I definitely look forward to that. Um, do you have like any other opponents in mind whom you want to defend your title against? Yes, uh, so uh, there's this guy that just won Nogi Black Belt Worlds in my division named Osama. Uh, he's the first Black Belt World Champion from the Middle East. He lives in San Diego, trains at Gaval in Atos. Um, I feel like we would have a great match together, the current Nogi world champion versus me. I feel like that would just make sense, right? So um, possibly that would be my next match. But uh, again, there's so many tough guys, whoever they want me to face, I'm here. I definitely look forward to that matchup as well. And um, do you have like any plans on like transitioning into MMA soon or? Uh, soon, I wouldn't say soon. Um, I train at Evolve. So um, I have the best Muay Thai program in the world. So I plan on learning Muay Thai the next year or so and then seeing where my level goes. And um, I did Muay Thai like seven years as a kid. So I have a background in Muay Thai. I just have to learn again. But um, it's not like I haven't done any martial arts like stand up, you know. So I would just like to see how I progress over time. And then I would love to see uh, if I would like to do MMA. Definitely look, looking forward to that. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Next question comes from Kyle Segal from the Go Live Network. Go ahead, Kyle. 
Hey, Mikey, congrats on another dominant victory. I love seeing you. It's like you get better every single match. Thank you so um, much. Thank you. Of course. Do you think there's a super fight on the horizon between you and Cade Rotolo? Uh, Cade's like two weight classes above me. He's 170. I'm 135. So um, I just really want to focus on my division right now. Um, I don't really plan on going up in weight. I plan no on no problem. I just had to ask because yeah, you yeah, both are on, like top of the food chain. So I plan on being like another like 15 years. So I need my body healthy. If I do heavier divisions, I'll probably have to stop competing a lot sooner because it'll be too much impact, you know. Of course, Mikey. Congrats again on the victory. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. We have a question via text from Andrew Mack of MMA Island who asks, We often hear that you can't feel bad for your opponent, but we're all uh, concerned for Gantamo's health after several minutes of destroying his knee. I think uh, that you touched upon this a little bit earlier, but uh, it was pretty concerning, right? Yeah, I, I just think it was just no point. Like, he lost anyway. Like, if, if, for example, if you're winning a match, like in IBGGF, where there's points, and you're in a submission, like you tough it out, you might pop your foot or something, but you win the match. But if you're completely losing a match, and you're in a full-out submission, just not tapping you're just going to injure yourself and when i compete i don't want to hurt anyone i want them to train tomorrow you know i just want to um i don't want to hurt my opponent at all so i didn't i really didn't like being put in that position that i had to break his leg you know and i'm like nauseous right now from doing it um i'm a really gentle training partner like i don't hurt anyone i roll it you know so um um it definitely had to pull out a part of me that like i didn't like um it just was stupid i just thought it was a waste of him doing that to his leg I don't know. our last question comes from andrea tang from jujitsu times go ahead andrea hi can you hear me mikey yes hey Adrian. Hey. hey good getting to catch up with you again uh congratulations on your win incredible Thank performance you. as always um, I know that you are disappointed that you didn't get the tap. And as you've articulated so well, like it is, it it's is just weird because thing. it's the most I popped someone's leg in my life, but I didn't get a tap from it. So I feel right, like. Right, right. So Which was bizarre to watch unfold as well yeah. as someone who's seen a lot of grappling. Um, but, and I, and I know like you touched on that earlier that like, it really sucks being put in that position yeah. um, where you have to hurt someone. But like, I know, I know that hindsight is twenty twenty. But if you could kind of turn back time and like do this match over again, like knowing what you know about just him, just choke him, just put him to sleep, just put him to sleep. Yeah. That <laughs> so was, that's what you would do differently. Yeah. I looked at my corners. I heard them say two minutes and then I just let go of the submission. And then I took his, I almost calf sliced him, I think. Uh, to my yeah. Memory. Yeah. We saw the calf. And then, I, and then I took his back and um, I should have just done that from the beginning. Like I could have definitely just put him to sleep. Uh, right. But like, I don't know. I, I, it's, how do I shut off my mind from doing a submission when it's like popping someone's limb? You know what I mean? Like, I just, I wasn't being stubborn this time. Like it actually was popping. Like if it wasn't popping and it like, okay. But like, I felt it keep breaking. So like, I feel like I wasn't being as stubborn as I usually am, but it still didn't do it enough. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Really, really shocking on his part, but I mean, kudos to no, you. He, also and he's a tough, and what a tough sense. opponent, right? What a warrior he is for breaking his leg for no reason oh gosh that's that's certainly one way of looking at it um but yeah congratulations again um and yeah looking forward to seeing your next match thank you so much absolute wizard mikey thank you for joining us always a pleasure cheers thank you so much